y'all. I'm Parisian, and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're going to get a few cards from my Tauruses, okay? Please like this video if it resonates at all. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Cards from my Tauruses. Y'all, it just started raining and pouring down and thundering. But the first card we got is Ocean of Eternal Love. It says healing, creati creativity, and fertility. So some of y'all could definitely be involved with the Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio in your chart, but check my Scorpio video, okay? But um, some of y'all may be doing some deep healing right now, especially since it started pouring down raining. So some of y'all could definitely be going through something, all right? Something painful, right? And you need that healing. You, should, you could also be coming up with some type of new creative ideas as well. And definitely be careful because you could be getting pregnant, all right? Or you could be pregnant. We also got the card that says Zen card and inner sanctuary. So most definitely, um, I just seen 111 on the clock, which means that you got new opportunities and doorways opening up for you. But anyway, oh, and then 8, that's a, 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11, 11, 111, you could be seeing that a lot. But new doors, new opportunities. But yeah, inner sanctuary. So you need to find some inner healing, some type of inner peace, because you could definitely be going through it in some type of way, okay? So make sure you surround yourself with loving people, honest people, truthful people, authentic people, okay? As soon as I open up the deck, I see valuable. So you need to know how valuable you are. You need to realize how valuable you are. And somebody could be seeing that you are valuable to them, okay? So, you could be being a bit secretive, or someone around you is a bit secretive, all right? So, definitely keep it on the low. Whatever you plan to do, keep it on the low, all right? Don't tell nobody. You also got the card Versatile. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio, because Scorpio also had this card, all right? Or you could have a Scorpio around you. But you're very versatile, so you could be switching things up, or you need to, all right? You need something new, all right? New beginnings, fresh starts and stuff. You also may be um, talking to other people, but make sure you be careful who you talk to. Yeah, you could definitely have Scorpio in your chart or around you because you got the card transformative. And that's all about Scorpionic energy. So you really need to be laying low right now, all right? Do everything in secrecy. Don't tell no one. And when I say no one, I mean no one, okay? So you're going through a big transformation right now. Somebody could be saying that you're a bit of a troublemaker or there's just some trouble around you, okay? You also got the card argumentative. Yes, trouble. Um, somebody could feel like you're very argumentative or there could be conflict and chaos and arguments around you. You need to be around good energy at this time, okay? You also got the card elegant, so you are looking very beautiful. You're very elegant, all right? So people may be looking at your beauty and somebody could be a bit envious, but you need to be a bit of an introvert. You need to be to yourself right now, okay? Detach from people so you can get some type of wisdom and knowledge, okay? Alright. As soon as I open up that, I see the Eight of Cups. You need to leave something or someone behind, okay? Or somebody could have left you. But you definitely need to do that healing. There go that moon again, right? So this is the perfect time for some deep healing and some deep thought, alright? Cards from my Taurus is bare. So, we got the nine of wands here. So, you could have been hurt. You could have went through some type of battle or challenge in some type of way here. And now it's time to heal. Also, there could have been other people involved um, talking about you, gossiping about you, trying to play you in some type of way or trying to play somebody around you here. But somebody's going to get their karma. We also got the card ten of coins here. So, you could be doing things with family, going out with family. But you can also be worried about your stability, your finances, your security, your foundation, okay? You also got the card here, the Ten of Wands. So you could be stressed out, all right? Some of y'all could be looking for a new job or you could be stressed out at your job or you're just stressed out with everything that's around you that's happening, okay? Some of y'all could be stressing over money as well. And somebody could have stabbed you in the back and betrayed you in some type of way. Also, every time I see this, you know, that, uh, 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 
what's the word I'm looking for? Um, tells me that somebody was surveilling you, was watching you in some type of way, or recording you in some type of way. So make sure you be careful with who you tell what. You need to be secretive. Do everything on the low. Tell no one what you are doing because somebody is stabbing you in the back and betraying you, and could be standing stabbing somebody else around you if it's not you. Okay. Somebody could physically be wanting to harm you as well. We got the world here. So you could be leveling up in some type of way or gaining some type of wisdom or achieving something. You could also be trying to get advice from someone older than you as well here, okay? But a lot of wisdom is here. You're growing in some type of way here. Then we also have the King of Cups here. So somebody wants to come in and um, I was finna say emotionally manipulate you. So somebody might be trying to come in to emotionally manipulate you, okay? Um, but yeah, they're coming in with some type of emotions and feelings and stuff, all right? They want to come in and, and, and make you feel better, but something's not completely right, especially since it came out with Ten of Swords and stuff, okay? Yeah, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands here, energy. So you could be getting some new creative sparks on, okay? But definitely do that deep healing. But somebody's like watching you in the background. They don't. So you about to, okay, so you're an inspiration, all right? And there's other people around you who are going to be a bit jealous of you. Also, somebody wants to take pictures of you. Somebody could ask you to um, be a model in some type of way here. But you're getting a lot of attention, okay? Somebody thinks you're beautiful or inspirational in some type of way here. But there's people around you that you may deal with that don't want to see you happy or love a love. So I'm ain't right. Get them people away from you, okay? And it start pouring down again. I don't even know if y'all can hear that, but yeah. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my Taurus is ease. It say, I slander people that leave me because somebody did leave someone and now they're slandering them. All right, talking about them, being busy, gossiping, you know? You're moving forward with your life and no one can hold you back. That's what you're doing. You're, you're growing here, all right? Through your experiences that you're going through in life. Cars. But you're going to have to pick and choose who are the right people for you because you got some type of negativity around you, okay? And I'm seeing the karmic um, is a fan of divine feminine. So somebody is talking hell of shit about somebody, but they're actually a fan of them. Law enforcement, all right. So somebody could be um a law enforcement. You could be law enforcement. Your person could be law enforcement, or law enforcement is just um around you or something. Okay. It says my family is intimidated by your spiritual gifts. So somebody's somebody has spiritual gifts here. You could be intuitive. You could be psychic. You could be a reader, and um your family could be intimidated by that. All right. Cards for my cards and spirit. Taurus is. It says, um, trying to attach themselves to your greatness. So remember, you just had this card. Where, where did that card go? This card right here. You're you're look like you're looked at as an inspirational person. Your greatness. There's somebody trying to attach themselves to your greatness, but they also are not happy for you. All right, they don't want you to level up, but they still want to be there. All right, to your greatness. Or that could be somebody around you who you see is very inspirational, right? And somebody's trying to do that to them, okay? But definitely you need to detach from someone that's around you. Cards. For my Taurus spirit. However it fits your story, because if it's not happening directly to you, it's happening around you, okay? But it says accusing you when they are the ones doing fucked up shit. Yeah, so somebody may be accusing you. Or accusing somebody around you of doing some fucked up shit when it's really them. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Somebody's talking hell of shit about somebody, but really a big ass fan of them. Want to be them in some type of way. Cards from my Taurus is fair. So place it wherever it fit, okay? They have been lying on you to make others not like you. Yeah, so they've been lying on you to make others not like you. But they also want to be you. 
So trying to take your shine from you and turn it into theirs. Okay. I'm all done, y'all. Please don't forget to hit that like button, okay? It says she wasn't even worth losing you. So that somebody could have put you in a third-party situation, right? And now they're realizing she wasn't even worth losing you because, remember, you had the card valuable. You are valuable. You are elegant. You are beautiful. And you have a lot of attention right now as well. But there could be a lot of arguments going on. Cards for my Tarsus, spirit for my Tarsus. Cards for my Tarsus, spirit for my Tarsus. Tarsus, spirit for my Tarsus. First card we have for my Tarsus is, it says, what I told y'all, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated, because the people around you are not for you. And if you keep hanging with them, they ain't going to do nothing but try to destroy what you have, or, or just not genuinely be there for you, okay? Because something's not right. The karmic copies off your work and screenshots your posts. She talked hella shit about you, but wants to be you, all right? Like I said, if this is not happening directly to you, it's happening to somebody around you, okay? It says, they thought you were weak and you proved them wrong. So somebody thought you was weak, somebody thought you was stupid, somebody thought you was naive, but you was never none of that, all right? You proved them wrong. It says, club promoter, bottle girl, or stripper. So somebody could be one of those things here. Then we got, she only messed with you just to spite me. So somebody, so one of your female friends, okay? Well, don't necessarily have to be your female friend. It could be a female, period, wanted to mess with somebody just to hurt somebody. Just to get back at them. Just to take their man. Just to say, ah, hi, okay? But at the same time, even though she trying to take somebody, man, she want to be her because she copying out her screen. She screenshotting her stuff and screenshotting her work. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So make sure you do everything on the low here. Apology not fucking accepted. So somebody sitting up there trying to apologize to somebody, but you ain't stupid. You know it's not genuine. That's right. Keep them bitches confused. I keep trying. Keep them confused, y'all. Keep them confused. Everything does not have to be um, paid attention to, especially if it's stupid. You know they did wrong. You ain't got to deal with that. They know they did wrong. All right? You ain't got to point it out either. They're going to get their karma. Just focus on you. It says, the karmic did a beauty spell to take your beauty away because you are freaking beautiful. They don't want you to be that beautiful, but they can't stop your beauty, okay? That's why they're trying to lie on you and say this and that on you because you are beautiful. We also got a stud energy, so you could be a stud or you could have stud energy around you. Somebody could be a stud, all right? Then we got someone that's coming in to disturb your peace, right? But you need to keep them bitches confused. We got a drug dealer, so somebody could be moving away a drug dealer. Now, remember, we saw the car law enforcement. So, if your person be selling drugs or something like that, you might want to tell them to chill, okay? We got a womanizer here, so somebody could be a womanizer. It says, you may not ever forgive me, but I want you to know I'm sorry. But you do got the card. It says, apology not fucking accepted. It says judgmental parents. So somebody has some type of judgmental parents or judgmental relatives because you could be getting advice from somebody that's older than you. Remember I was telling you that? But they are judgmental. So that may not be the best um, advice that you're getting. So you need to go within yourself and get the answers you need within yourself instead of other people, okay? It says, it's taking everything it be to hold back from you. Yes. So, somebody's holding back from their person here. All right? Somebody's not expressing how they feel. Let's see. It says, trust fund, life insurance, policy, will, or inheritance. So, somebody could be getting some type of abundance here. But if you are getting any of that, tell 
no one. Okay? It says someone plans are going to fail because you can hear their thoughts, right? So somebody's very intuitive here. Because remember we seen the card there that said family members are intimidated by your spiritual gifts. So somebody could be a reader, intuitive, psychic, something, period. And the family members be talking about them because they're judgmental. Because it's coming up on the judgmental parent. It don't necessarily have to be somebody parent. It could be somebody older, period. But they judgmental talking about them, okay? Then we got watching you from fake pages. So somebody's watching you from fake pages here and they're holding back how they feel. Then it says continue to heal your inner child. So you need some work, all right? You need to do some shadow work. You need to do some deep healing. You need to continue to work on it, all right? So you need to go within your sanctuary, within yourself, all right, to do that. Because you could be attached to people and things who no longer serve you, who are not good for you. I didn't lose my friend. You most definitely did do one fucked up shit like this. I hope you did cut them off, Tars. Then we got real estate. So somebody could be buying a new home or buying some type of property. Or you could be a real estate agent. However you fix your story, okay? I'm going to get three more cards for y'all real quick. We got, they playing victim like they don't know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on. They know exactly what they did. And now they finna try to come back and apologize or something like they don't know. Then we got trying to pressure you into doing something you don't want to do. So somebody may be trying to pressure you into doing something, but make sure you tell them no if you're uncomfortable with doing it because you run your life, they don't run you, okay? But it could be your parent, but at the same time, if you grown, you could still say no, okay? This is enjoying time with the family. So you could definitely be doing things with the family, especially with this car here, you know? But they could be a bitch judgmental. They judgmental. They could even be a bit toxic because somebody's somebody's hurt. Somebody's like, aha, aha. They hurt. Keep your guards up, you know. If they toxic, you know, I love you, but I love you from far away. Because somebody's sitting up here stabbing somewhere in the back, being betrayed and shit. You up here stressing out and stuff like that. And you're definitely dealing with some type of family situation. These are people that are close to you. If it's not family, it's people that is close to you. But it's toxic, right? You're going to have to get away from it if, if it's toxic. It's not good for you. So do what you need to do, my loves. What's at the bottom of the deck here? It says, yeah, she didn't paint you in a good light because she was on some fuckery. She was trying to take your man. She was trying to take your spotlight. She was trying to be you, all right? So please hit that like button, y'all. Thank y'all so much for your support.